My generation was hit with a very big loss this week. Robin Williams has passed away. After just watching the latest press release, the information as of now is that he was found dead in his home. The preliminary cause of death was asphyxiation by hanging, and it seems to be a suicide. He was found slightly suspended in a sitting position with a belt around his neck, and there were also cuts on his wrist and a blade found nearby with blood on it. A representative said that he had been battling severe depression as of late. We can't be completely positive of the cause of death as of now because they need two to six weeks to go through his medical records to see if anything was caused by medication and etc. But for right now, the fact that he was depressed makes this case important. Some of the people close to him must have been aware of his mental health. Even if it was just a handful of people, somebody knew that he was depressed. Now, it is by no means another person's obligation to make sure that a depressed person gets better or that you make sure said person doesn't kill themselves. But I don't think it's that difficult to check up on someone once in a while just to make sure that they're getting the resources that they need. I hope that with the money that Robin had and the resources that he had as an upper class person that he did receive some of the help that he needed. But we can't know that for sure. As much as normal non-celebrity people see a stigma with mental health, I'm sure that upper class people do too. And now that he He's gone, me and my other friends who are going into mental health professions were writing about the impact this could potentially have on mental health if people just open their eyes. But it goes beyond writing a Facebook status and hoping that people will change their minds. You need to be that change. Don't say that depression exists and that it's common for people to suffer with it, and then never ask someone who you know is suffering with a mental illness how they're doing. Mental health is not something that people can grasp easily, especially older people who are more set in their ways. And also people who aren't like me and the people closest to me who study this and want to go into the field. It may be difficult to understand. But take the time to understand it. Take one abnormal psychology course. Read one academic journal on depression. It won't make you an expert, but it'll bring you one step closer to understanding. You can ask your family members for a million remedies to the common cold, a physical illness, but most of them won't know what to say when you approach them with your mental illness. They don't know the resources or remedies. People are often ashamed by people who are mentally ill. This needs to change. Mental health affects almost half of people at some point during their lives, and that number is only increasing as more is discovered about it. Do we need to see more influential people killing themselves for this to make sense in people's heads? So I have a little mission for all of you watching. Instead of the normal comment question, I want you to reach out to a friend, a colleague, a family member, somebody that you know has been suffering with something or openly suffers from a mental illness. Ask them how they're doing. Don't do it because I'm recommending it, but do it because you care about them. Show other people that you care right now, that their existence is important to you. Don't wait until someone is dead to write a million kind things about them. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. I truly hope and will do my hardest to make sure that the sadness of your death inspires others to make a difference in this world. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but I've had a little flubber in my video display for a while now, so it'll be a nice little reminder to, you know, be appreciative of things and think of Robin. So, that's cool. <laughs>